Yes, good luck, good luck, good luck. Good is luck. Me, is, With, can it I is just you, go? It is, it is. I need to well, put the chicken on, guys, otherwise this okay. is going to be ready. You put the chicken on and I'm just going to talk about the book uh, because this is Gino's Italian Express. You, uh, you, you just said this is your favourite cookbook yet. At the moment, it's my, this is moment. my favourite book that I wrote so far. Oh. I personally tested each recipe three times to make sure that everything works to perfection, to the minutes, each grams of every ingredients, and it's just fantastic. Whoa. What no, was I just that? put a little bit of oil. It was too much oil. Oh. I wanted to refresh the oil. Because the way I'm going to do this recipe now, I've got a little bit of oil. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you how to make a very fast uh, chicken dish, yeah. which is delicious. I've got olive oil in a pan, and I'm going to put a little bit of butter, OK? Very important to put oil and butter together. Why? Because uh, I was going to say, because I've, I've said it enough time. It doesn't burn, it gets it doesn't, it doesn't burn. burn. It doesn't, the butter it doesn't burn. Doesn't so once you put it there, uh, I need to put it the breast of chicken. I'm going to show you what I've done later. Just a bit of flour, a bit of salt and pepper, nice and easy, and it goes in there. The way I've done the That's chicken... That's quite thin. Yeah, the way I've done the chicken, you get the breast, right? Normal breast of chicken. Mm -hmm. Then what I do, instead of bashing it down and do all of that, I'll just cut it mm -hmm. lengthways, like that. Mm -hmm. OK? So okay. the chicken is thinner. See, the thing is with chicken, the thing that people get it wrong uh, uh, quite a long time is they overcook it. Yeah. So to avoid that, the best way to do it is you make it thinner, so you cook it very fast, and then so the heat goes out. in there and it doesn't dry out. That's okay. it. So you want to do about three or four minutes on each side. We're also going to do some potatoes. Now, when I say Genius Italian Express, which is the new series that I film in Italy in the book, it's not only because the recipes are quick. Is the preparation as well that is quick. The fact that the potato, they stay in the oven for 40 minutes, mm -hmm. that doesn't matter because once it's in the oven, it's in the oven. Yeah. It's the prep that is fast. So for the potatoes, where I go? I go new potato, Philip, if mm -hmm. you can put them in a tray. If you can put... Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Sorry about that one. All of them? No, except one. <laughs> I'll, I'll, yeah, except I'll just one. leave that one then, yeah? yeah? Just leave it there. <laughs> uh, peppers, I love peppers when I you do. roast them with What's a potato. What's your favourite colour? Uh, red. Oh, I like yellow. Yeah, I don't like the green one. They get too bitter. Right. But when okay. you cook them, they're all good. Yeah. Uh, no, even when you cook them, the green one, they're always bitter. Well, why are you putting it in your recipe? Because it gives a different flavour for people who like... No, different flavour for people who like more like bitter, that, more right. sweet. Olive oil, please. OK. Look, I'm cooking the chicken as, we, as we're speaking. So olive oil goes in there. Loads of salt and pepper for me. Mm. And then we want to put fresh rosemary Leaves. And so I just take it off there. Just put them there. All right, Leaves. I can do that. And when is the TV show on? The TV show is on Thursday, and it's going to be on at 8.30. Really, I really enjoyed to film this one, guys. We've got a little clip, actually. Let's have, oh, a, have, you? Let's have a look. And winning this ancient regatta is a source of enormous local pride. One, two, three, go! Bye! Okay, this year we're gonna win. Bye, bye. Bye, for for can. Don't worry, boys. We're gonna win this year. Let's turn, let's turn around and be careful, me. Turn around. Let's see. Let's roll like a gondola. <laughs> that looks like fun, but you did do cooking as well. <laughs> I did cooking as well. It was very fun because it's travel, so cooking, really yeah, special. Yeah, amazing. Now, what I've done with the chicken... Is that cooked? All the oil that I had and the butter, you throw it away, so you end up with a dry pan and the chicken is in there. Mm -hmm. Just let it relax for a second. We're going back on the potato. This is done beautifully. I love the way you've done it. Very rusty. Just throw everything in there. Garlic as well, with yeah. the skin on. Mm -hmm. Take the skin on, because otherwise it burns. So put it there, give it a good mix. Oven, 200 degrees. Yeah. 200 degrees, 40 minutes, the job is done. There's no really need to go there and start to mix it up. Just, just let it do, do. Just project. let okay. it do whatever we need to do. Now, for the chicken, how do we create the sauce? First of all, capers. Yep. Beautiful flavour that is going to give. I use the small capers in vinegar. What are capers, by the way? Capers is, uh, uh, is, is a bush, it's a plant which is like a bush. In Italy, they grow on walls everywhere. Ah. And it's the bulb of the flower. Just because before okay. the flowers, you just pick them. I love capers. Oh, you? Capers. I yeah. love the caper fans. Bellissimo. They're quite salty, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Or vinegary, because you can keep uh, capers in salt or in vinegar. Oh, I see. When you cook it, if it's salt or if it's vinegar, it doesn't matter. Just give them a rinse. So you take away that extra salt or the extra oh, vinegar. Yeah. 
Once the capers are in there, what we got, we're going to put a little bit of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Mm -hmm. OK, just on top. Can you see that the actual pan is not on the fire yeah. right now? Because what I don't want it to happen is that it's too hot and uh, um, the lemon is going to evaporate straight away. Mm -hmm. So freshly squeezed lemon juice. Don't how worry many? about peas or anything like that. I would have put a couple of lemons. Depends yeah. on how big they are. OK, don't worry about peeps and all of that. It's cooking. If you don't want the peeps, you take it off. Okay. OK, once the lemon is in there, we put it on the heat. We're going to put a little touch of uh, uh, chicken stock mm -hmm. just to create a nice sauce, OK? Now, once we got the chicken stock, it starts to bubble, and we need to thicken this one up. And I'm going to show you a technique how to do that. Philip, the uh, potatoes. Mm -hmm. If you can start to put them on there, on the other side. Are you guys uh, chop par Can you chop parsley? Yes, you well, can. Well, I'm sure I can. Please. I mean, I'm quite capable. If you can chop some parsley. Philip, put it on the How side much? of the plate over there. How much do you want? Uh, that much is fine. And very, very um, roughly chop. I don't want it to finally chop. Well, that's locking. A little bit of salt and pepper goes into the sauce. Is that enough? Or do you want more? Sorry, I didn't hear what you just said. Uh, that is... Not enough. That's perfect. Yes, it's fine, it's fine. Is that too rough? I'm going to put... No, that's perfect. Thanks. The problem with parsley, you know what it is? If you chop before too, uh, too much, yeah. you lose the freshness. It goes and you in lose the bowl. The color. It's, 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 it's not very good. Now, how do we thicken up this sauce? It's very simple. First thing that we need is a little bit of flour. Yeah. OK? You get a bit of butter, mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. The butter goes into the flour, OK? And you massage the butter into the flour, like that. Mm -hmm. Then you shake off, and then you put the butter in there. And that's it? That's it, because the flour in the butter, it creates like a like cold a roux. Exactly. So then once you create the cold roux, the only thing it does is look how it's thickening up the sauce straight Yeah, away. instantly. Mm -hmm. Instantly it does. So that's a trick that if you've got guests at home, prepare the chicken, the last minute, yeah, yeah, what it up, a bit of flour, it's that little bit I of flour know. mix. It's incredible, because once you get together with the butter, yeah, yeah. it creates like a paste, mm. and it's absolutely beautiful. OK, I'm ready. This is done. Oh, Guys, amazing. this is absolutely is done. What was your, um, your favourite thing to cook on, uh, on, your, on your show? I did uh, a uh, uh, chocolate uh, non-baked cheesecake with one of is my... Is that the one I just saw in the book? The one book? I saw in the book. Mm. With uh, one of my favourite things ever, which is uh, uh, a chocolate spread. I'm not going to say the brand, just in case, but we all know which the brand is. Mm -hmm. and what, it's... the one that ends Ella? Yes, the one mm. ends Ella and it's got nut in it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, that is the one. OK? Mm. Guys? Thank you. This is how simple Italian cooking is. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah, what I'm doing in the series. What I'm okay. doing in the series is I want to do something simple. I want to do oh, something wow. that is powerful in flavour mm. with very little ingredients. Listen, if you like less lemon, that is you so put less loving. lemon. If you like more capers, if you like less capers, express yourself. You know, it's, it is very lemony. This, the, the way you've so done it with the, that amount is very lemony. Very yeah. zesty. You can, if you want to put less, you put less lemon and a little bit more mm. stock. And a little lemoncello on the side. You can have that after. Oh, I love it. I love it. I, I like it. Like, when I have a, a polo limone or veal with lemon, I want, to, I want to feel and I want to taste the mm. lemon. Mm. Sometimes it's too weak and I'm like, no, that's not what I'm yeah, expecting. Yeah, you want to pack a Thank you, Gina. Thank you. Gina's Thank Italian you. Express. Oh. There you go. And it's on the telly as well. Uh, all the recipe details, all you've got to do is have a look at our app.